All right, just wanted to make a video about the whole Kyle Rittenhouse trial and just the stupid ridiculousness of the fact that this trial is even going on. I mean, this whole thing should be over now, okay? The guy was pointing a gun at Rittenhouse and he defended himself, okay? You say, why are you talking about this? Because this just shows the liberal insanity, the social liberal communist insanity that's in America, okay? Here, here are the photos. Here's a photo of the whole thing, okay? This is the attacker. The guy was a stinking pedophile, by the way, too. Okay, one of the attackers was a pedophile, uh, so funny how the liberal media seems to miss that fact. But uh, here's him pointing a gun at Rittenhouse, and then Rittenhouse simply shoots him in self-defense. Okay, the guy had a gun. The attacker had a gun. The guy was not unarmed. But you see, social liberals, they don't care about the truth. They just want to uh, put out this narrative that, oh, he shot some guy that was unarmed protesting for black, right, black lives. Not to mention that the person they're protesting for, the Black Lives Matter rally in question, was about a guy who was, who was a criminal, career criminal, who was armed when the cop shot, cop shot him. You see, liberals like to say, oh, the, the black people, they were unarmed, they were unarmed. You know, uh, a lot of times they're not unarmed, and a lot of times they're ones being the aggressor. Okay, see, think about the black community in America, okay, and this may, this may offend a lot of people, but quite frankly, I don't care, you can just like it or lump it. A lot of them don't like to re accept responsibility for their actions, and a lot of them just want to do whatever they want, and then if you arrest them, oh, you're being racist, you police brutality, police brutality. You know, that may be too real for some people to take, but just suck it up if you're a liberal, okay? Just stop being a snowflake and take the reality, take the truth, and just stop being a crybaby all the time. It's ridiculous. Okay? A lot of times they're armed, they don't want to accept responsibility for their actions. And that's where I'm probably going to break this table at some point, because this is just getting to the point of ridiculousness. And yeah, I am ranting, because this makes me, this, it just really annoys me quite a lot, how just the ignorance of these, I'll just say it, stupid liberals, plain and simple. Here's another photo, because they claim, oh, he pointed his gun at them. Uh, no, he's not pointing his gun in that photo. Right there, there's a video of the event. The guy had his hands up. Okay, he didn't have his hands up, yeah, but he wasn't pointing his gun at him. So where are these liberals getting this thing, of, oh, he's pointing his gun at the, at the attacker. And again, we keep missing the fact that the attacker was armed. We keep missing that. You know, the liberals seem to keep missing that. Here's another photo of, again, there's Rittenhouse right there, and then there's one of the attackers, again, pointing a flipping gun at Rittenhouse. Now, you see... See, the thing about social liberals is that they want to take away your right to bear arms and they want to defund the police. So not only do they want to defund the police, they want to take away your right to defend yourself so then when the police can't defend you because there's no police to be funded, you can't even defend yourself. I mean, this is the kind of insanity. So not only are we going to try to defund the police, we're going to try to defund your right to defend yourself. It's ridiculous. They want to take away your right to bear arms. See, they're communists. That's all they are. They want to bring them a system of Mao Zedong and Joseph Stalin and all the other communist, the devil-filled communist mass murders that they are. The liberals hate the idea of personal responsibility and self-defense, and they hate the idea of someone they think is a victim not being a victim. That's too real for you? If you're a liberal, is that too real, real for you to take? Well, too bad. Because I'll just get up and say what I want. But anyway, this whole trial should just be over by now. Plain and simple. This whole, the whole thing should be over. The guy had a gun, Rittenhouse shot in self-defense, there you go, trial's over, Rittenhouse is innocent, it was self-defense. Okay, you come at somebody with a gun, okay, and the other guy has a gun, expect to be shot at, plain and simple. Is that too real for you if you're a liberal? You, you, I guarantee you I probably have a ton of comments saying, oh, you, you could have said that better, oh, oh, oh you're, you're being so nasty, you're being so hateful. Um, I'm just being real, okay, this is, this really... It's just ridiculous, to the point of ridiculous. But here's a funny tweet. Uh, one stubbed his toe, the other is suffering from PTSD. I'll let you decide who is who. Okay, so LeBron James, the guy is worth like a hundred plus million dollars. And then you got Rittenhouse, who actually has PTSD. So he stubs his toe, and he's crying like a little baby. Then Rittenhouse, who actually has PTSD, they make a fun of him for crying. You see, the thing about social liberals is that they're the most hateful people ever. They, can't, they accuse you, oh, you're racist, you're hateful, you're homophobic, you're Islamophobic, you're this phobic, you're that phobic, you're atheophobic, you know, for atheists, you're Hindu phobic, you know, all these little stupid titles. Really, they're the ones that are the most hateful, hate filled bullies ever. And that's all I wanted to show you, just again, the funny tweet. I'll just quickly like that tweet right there. But again, this whole trial, it should, it should just be over by now. The guy was in, acting in self defense. You come at somebody with a gun, expect them to react in self defense. That's just life. That's just reality for you, but apparently it's too real for the liberals to take. So anyway, this is this is this is the kind of cultism and fruit 
that liberalism produces. Yeah, it is a cult, by the way, too. The cult of social liberalism is a anti-freedom, anti-God, anti-white, by the way. They're self-hating white people. Cult. Plain and simple. So anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.